Welcome, welcome to the Smiling Suffer Podcast. On the mic, you got Corey. And here with me is Mr. G. What going? Hey, hey, it's been a minute, man. First episode of the year. Happy New Year, people. Happy New Year, Smiling Sufferers. Um, a lot has happened, man, in the last couple of weeks. A shitload. And, um, but, you know, as always, we like to start with Afrobeat. Uh, the latest in Afrobeat. By the way, that was Koleyon by uh, Naira Marley. I think he's, uh, I think Naira Marley's starting to build like a a very impressive collection of music, not just for him, but his artists. Uh, I think we played one of his artists last week, Mobad. Uh, that's a that's another very promising artist. You also have Zinoliski. He's also a promising artist. I think he also dropped an EP or an album recently too. Mm-hmm. Um, but his imprint is starting to do some pretty big things. He also has that producer, Rexy Pondebeat, uh, who did KPK. KPK is a huge song right now. Uh, last I checked, it was at the top five on the Apple charts. Um, that's the Kokboke. I think we played it on there. And as always, you can always find these tracks on uh, Smiling Suffer playlist on Apple iTunes and on Smiling Suffer. Just search for it. Search for the Smiling Sufferer playlist. You find it, all these songs, they're on there. Fresh, new, Afrobeat tunes. But, yeah, man. So, outside of that, man, what else is going on in Afrobeat? Um, I think recently, Burner Boy and Davido. Udogu. They, they got into a bit of a skirmish. A skirkuffle, I don't know what you call it. Yeah, kerkuffle. Kerkuffle. They got into it. Uh, this... It was over Christmas, right? Was it, it was a Christmas uh, it was, um, event? It was it New Year? It was in Ghana? I think it was, it was in Accra? New, New Year's, maybe New Year's, maybe Christmas. It was yeah. weird. Can you can you kind of walk us through what know. happened from what you from what you know. know? All we've seen is one video or two two videos. Um, <clears throat> of one is Davido being his ever energetic energetic person, you know, jumping and people are kind of walking with him outside yeah um and the caption says you know him and Bernard just had a little thing yeah the other one which is my favorite video is i guess showing him at a earlier point inside the club when they started to walk him outside yeah and i mean they i think like his people uh-huh. and you know you can tell he's also like agitated and then the camera pans over to whiskey yeah. He's just drinking his champagne, winding his business. Yeah, that background. was. I thought that was funny. Um, but they, they, some people have come up. I, I don't. Everybody has come up with different versions. Some versions said they were, um, Davido was performing, that Burner Boy was there, and then no, Davido was there peacefully, and Burner Boy mm-hmm. came and started to cause trouble. Some have said they were playing. They showed a video of Davido performing, and they said Burner Boy was upset. They were playing the video song, but which I, I do think that's BS because I'm pretty sure. I've seen a video of Burner Boy also performing at that same venue that same night. I think whoever yeah. organized it had everybody coming. So I'm not really sure playing somebody's music is the trigger. I'm pretty sure it was just a, you know, maybe somebody decided to taunt the other person. Or it was like, look, Perhaps. we haven't seen on site since this whole um, incident has happened. But and, I, I heard, uh, I heard Burner was Burner on that step to him. Yeah, though. so... You know, that's also another thing we've heard is Burner swung first. Yeah, a lot of rumors. Uh, a lot of rumors. We, really we don't, don't know. know. But all we know is we've only seen the video being hurried out of the venue by his people. And I don't know if security and Whiskey Starboy, the number one, just drinking his champagne yeah, and, then <laughs> and minding his business. But I didn't see any <laughs> any images of Burner. For some I reason, didn't see anything of Burner, of but I know Burner was there. Yeah, he, mu- he must have been. Because I've seen videos of him earlier and I've seen videos of him and Whiskey chilling together. So... Um, lesson learned there are three and they're three headed monsters I've shown you there are three different personalities that you can yeah. in life they're multiple but one is was if we believe that Bernard did attack him then yeah. that's the aggressor and Bernard is like look man this thing is beyond music we have the other personality which is always the loudest one which happens to be the person we also have videos of walking out and the you know which is the video who 
um, yeah. seems to be a very loud person and we saw the aftermath of it where he started making videos and yep. saying I'm going to leave the industry for you people started this whole two led challenge and once again it's the sign of somebody who wants to always be center of attention because you start a challenge and then you're paying people two million naira to participate in this challenge and, and wait what was the challenge I about? don't know it was just shouting too late and I don't know what the fuck maybe it's a new slang thing I know what too late is like you know it should mean release like, it or let like it go let it go and, yeah you get but I don't know if it's a I, new I felt like maybe stuff. he was trying to mock like I, the, the way I, I interpreted it was maybe Tule was something Burner Boy was saying when they were fighting, like like, maybe, like let him maybe go. It's possible, and maybe he yeah. was trying to mark. That's him. very possible. But yeah. then so, so let me into... play the. This is the video that that David O dropped on his. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Tule. Tule. <laughs> yeah i'm not really strange it's very strange and it's like if the story is to believe that you were hit first and you didn't hit back then i'm not really sure you should be the person coming out to be making videos after and then the third personality was whiskey who just minded his business yeah that so, one always minds his business i do believe i i i aspire to be that third personality so well you can pick which one of the three you, you want to be like so speaking of whiz kid he did drop the ginger video what did you think you want to make a ginger give me the cup yeah i feel I, like I, I love i like the video i we like playing io with diamonds at the end yeah they pretty, were that was pretty old that was dope that was dope yeah. i like i like the video i just i just felt like they could have done even I think more it was, I'm, like i'm it was hoping corona too though Okay, that that's a point. So, that's a good point. Yeah, but I just felt like it was in the same uh, warehouse. And yeah, yeah, everything was shot thing, there. But one thing with but but honestly though, looking mm. at this without the sound, yeah, it looks this sick. doesn't it looks really nice. look like a, a a typical Niger video. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and then one thing I say about Whiskey is actually he reminds me of Rihanna in a way. I can't no. I don't think anybody can really pull up that outfit. The colorway, I love that. This color one the, uh, with the shoes and everything, except this boy. I really don't think a lot of people like Rihanna wears some stuff where it's like if someone else wore this, this would be super ugly. I know? like I like the color, but I like the color. Yeah, but the, the full outfit, I really think he's like the only one in this Nigerian industry, maybe one of two that can really pull that outfit off. Um, but it's a dope video. It's 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 you know it's not overly in your face. It's not you know like. It's it's you can see the creativity in it. Um, I do know you wanted more. I, I was hoping for a bigger yeah, budget. Yeah, bigger. I do think this might have been a decent budget, but obviously, like more outside of a studio, a, a closed space video. But look, it it works. It works good, man. And you Ninja know, is a jam and shot. and Burner Boy has been has posted like three or four this link or four or five times like mm -hmm. this song and and it just goes back to show that their brotherhood or their friendship is not based off. The hate of another man, yeah. as some have tried to say, it's okay. not. It's not. It's uh, not like based off of the hate of David. Yeah, it's not based off mutual hate for David. This their friendship looks very genuine. And fun fact: this song was recorded before. This song was recorded during the time Burner was recording his African Giant album. Oh, really? Yes, this song was not just recorded. So, so this not. is not new. This mm -hmm. is not oh. Let's make a song together because you're hot, I'm hot. The video is not is nah nah nah. This is they they did this because when you watch his whiskey's YouTube stuff, you see the producer, um I forget his name, talk about how they met and recorded the song. It was while he was recording songs for African Giants. Have you noticed that regular Benz is now like a new flex? Well, regular Benz is vintage old, now. Yeah, it's vintage. getting to the vintage it's a, it's level because this car flex. is like 1980-something. Yeah. yeah, so it's becoming vintage. It's over 30 years old now. Yeah, I would I would definitely get one of those. I know, it's vintage. Yeah. You know, a nice, clean mm -hmm. one. Yeah, it's becoming... I was probably shot in the UK. I'm it was guessing. it was shot in the UK. We, um, he did have a little behind the scenes. Yeah, that's I where they with were. I the Burners Dior uh, uh, sweatshirt, and uh, you know, the, 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 I liked it. I, they, they, and they look like they're having a good time. Man. It wasn't disappointing for two two of the three giants. I, I guess if you if you if you put it in COVID context. I can understand why they did this video, especially yeah. in somewhere like Jan. Yeah, Jan and this, shut yeah, down. this was done during that whole period. Jan is, Jan yeah. is shut down completely. So maybe yeah. I, I'm hoping they can come up with another video. This wasn't it wasn't a bad video though. It was very very stylistically. It was it was I mean that was a nice That's flex. That's a nice now. flex right there. With <laughs> the, <laughs> the, I play Ayo with, with diamonds. diamonds, man. Come on, man. That was, that was a, that nice, was a flex. nice flex. Yes, yeah, style uh, artistically, yes, you know. But I do understand you probably want more. 
And you know, it was uh, done by Meiji, Meiji uh, Alabi. Meiji has been doing a lot of whiskey videos too. Oh yes, and he's a he's a popular guy too in the, in the UK. So shout out to them for that. Shout man. out, shout out, man. Um, what else has happened in Afrobeat lately, man? Um, I think that that's the biggest news that has come out of Afrobeat as of recently, right? The yeah, Burner, the Burner, the David Joint. Fight. Um, um, the Burner and Steph are still together. For those who are wondering, yes, for the for the people that were that were thinking <laughs> they were that they thinking were going to tank their relationship, you, you see, it's so funny. The when, girl was going to come in between them. Nah. Whenever I see, oh, by the way, did you see the girls' rant? That's so right, it's girls stupid, rant. man. Whenever, Everybody just wants 15 minutes of fame. Whenever and I guess see, what? She's done. Whenever I see g- girls, right, try to out Niger men, especially. It doesn't work. I'm, I'm always like, <laughs> have you not learned? It doesn't you remember, work. You remember, you remember those twins that tried to do it with Ote Dollar uh, one time? Work. That they, that they, almost, they, they almost arrested yeah, them in Niger. 